Welcome viewers. Uh, today in this video we're going to install a high torque rotor into this 17.5 fixed turn fixed timing motor and see what what to um, what it's going to do with it. Now now what I noticed in other brands let's see if this will focus on this this is the box for the the Aries Pro um, 17.5 motor uh, this one was for a 10.5 spec and this is kind of a secret hiding in plain sight you can see the 10.5 spec rotor spec motor is 3600 kV but then the modified 10.5 is 3400 and then you, you wonder what the difference is and the difference is hiding in plain sight the modified rotor uses a 12.5 diameter out, outside diameter with a five millimeter inside diameter uh, magnet. And you can see down here in the spec, the uses the same 12.5 outer diameter, but the inner diameter is bigger. So what that means is you get less magnetic material. So the 7.2 um, millimeter diameter rotor is less, less of a magnet. And in this range, what you get is uh, a maximum of about 1700 gauss usually around 1650 is a, considered a high torque so then on the box also hiding in plain sight was this side of the box where it showed a 12.5 outer diameter with 5 millimeter inner diameter was you know 5 star for torque but 2 star for RPM and then you can see a standard rotor, a 12.5, 5 millimeter, that's your standard modified rotor, four star for torque. And then you get down into the 12.5 with 7.2 millimeter inner diameter, and it becomes four star for RPM. And this is the standard, um, the standard rotor that, that um, a stock motor comes with. The only difference between these would be the Gauss rating of the motor. And then you can see at the very bottom a 12.3 diameter rotor. So that's a very narrow rotor with a big inner diameter, which is a very, very mild magnet. You can see 5 star for RPM. So hiding in plain sight was all this information on this box. So when I tested this earlier, this 17.5 fixed timing motor, I just did a, a review on this guy. We found it had 26 degrees of timing. Its KV was 2900, 34, a 2 amp. And then the rotor was a 1500 rotor. So I've gone and I found another rotor in my in my collection from one of these blue motors I bought one of the modified ones so this would be a 12.5 with a 5 millimeter inner diameter so let's just turn on this RMS and we'll test the rotor here to see what it is RMS selected should be zeroed for Gauss now this one here you can see that it's a 1900 Gauss rotor which is a very strong, very strong, very this is way higher than a high torque rotor that you would get in a in a stock motor. This would be better than the highest of torque rotors. So 1940. So this is a 1900, well above what it was at the 1500. So this is this is a very strong rotor. So let's just assemble this motor back together we'll see what kind of gap it has what you're looking for is about a millimeter between the rotor and the sensor which it seems to have so that'll be good it comes with a little this one here came with a little um, little piece there to keep it from the end bell from shorting out uh, what I'll do is I'll just piece this together with the, the sensor 
and the stator so that there's a nice piece this motor here is there's no vents uh, the screws just go in through the front so let's put the rotor in place See if I can fit it into the magnet in back. Looks like I'm gonna have to pop it out, fit it in, put it back together. Looks like I was able to. Now we can take the take the pinion off. Now it did come with two shims. I'll try it with We'll just put the two shims it came with back on. It did come with this little this little uh, gasket as well to keep it from shorting out. And the front piece. Okay, so now we'll just put the screws through. You can see that this motor is quite quite a challenge to put back together. I just put it almost tight until I get the other screws in. And that's all this motor has is three screws holding it together, nothing in the back, no timing. And as we mentioned before, the, the timing of this motor was 27 degrees, 26 degrees, so very mild timing. Probably better for a modified, as we mentioned in the last video. Uh, a motor like this should have about 45 degrees. Okay, so what we notice here, I'll just put a pinion back on. Now this is a, a high, the highest torque rotor that you could ever possibly put in one of these. It's from a modified motor version of the same. You can see that it's very strong that it just ratchets in place. Now let's take this right from the build and put it on the motor analyzer. Just make sure that it's everything's snugged up nice. Doesn't have to be zinging tight, just you're just holding the can together. There we go. Motor analyzer time. So what we want to see from this is the another KV rating, KV test. The previous test is still on the on the machine. Two nine thirty four at two amp. So what I would expect to see from this is less KV because it's higher torque. Remember our our little box diagram here that said. A lighter rotor will give you higher RPM. A stronger rotor gives you less RPM. So we, we should expect to see that. Oops. Blue should be connected here. The middle connected to the middle. Okay, let's give this a test. Are we ready? Still nice and quiet. So with our rotor change, what we find is the amps has gone up a little bit. It used to be 2.1 amp, now it's 2.7. So we didn't do anything with timing, it's fixed timing. So it has a stronger rotor in it. So the stronger rotor is making it draw more current, which generates more power. But we also lost 200 about 150 kV from it. Let's bring that up to the camera as you can see. So in this case we changed this from a high RPM road, uh, motor to a high torque motor. So that's what we learned from this. The secret was hidden in plain sight on the box of a Sky RC so we switched from a, but down here to the 12.5, 7.2 millimeter inner diameter rotor up to this guy here, 
12.5, 5 millimeters. So now we're into the high high torque rating. So if you're interested in the videos like these to kind of get a better understanding of, of these electric motors and how they work and what you can do with them, just click like and subscribe. And what we're going to do is try to get 1,000 subscribers this year. And any of the proceeds that, that we get from all these subscriptions, we're going to put them right back into our St. John RC Race Club. So thank you guys for your support. Thanks for watching.